Welcome to American History and Culture at the School of Professional Studies, CUNY. I'm Dr. Kate Culkin, the one on the left. I will be your instructor for American History and Culture this semester. I'll tell you a little bit about myself then give you a brief introduction to the class. I have a PhD in American History from New York University and I'm an associate professor at Bronx Community College, which is also part of CUNY. I wrote a biography of the 19th century American sculptor Harriet Hosmer and edited the Harriet Jacobs Family Papers, which includes the letters of Harriet Jacobs, author of the slave narrative, Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl. So as you might imagine, I am interested in women's history and cultural history, which means I am particularly interested in this class. This class is different than many American history classes. It is not a chronological march through history from the Puritans to Obama, which requires you to memorize and repeat back facts. Instead, we will be exploring the themes that have influenced how the country has developed and how people in the country have experienced and shaped that development. I'm excited about this approach as it moves us away from thinking about history as a series of facts that need to be memorized to thinking about how American culture has developed and how people have negotiated that culture. We will focus on three main themes, race, class, and gender. Looking at how those categories have been understood at different periods of times and how they have changed. These are big controversial topics and I expect our exchanges to be invigorating and thoughtful with respect paid to differing opinions. In our explorations, we will be using a variety of different sources, including not only written documents, but also artifacts such as images, music, poetry, and material culture, which will help give you an understanding of how scholars draw their conclusions about the past and help you learn to think like a historian. We will be using the text Keyword for American Cultural Studies, and a lot electronic version can be accessed through the CUNY Library's website if you have a valid CUNY ID. There are two editions, one published in 2007 and one in 2014, but you can read the essays in either edition. If you decide you want a physical text, you can purchase it through the NYU Press website, Amazon, or other booksellers. For historical context, we will also refer to the free online American history textbook found at the Digital History website. Although few people who take history classes go on to become historians, the study of history can help you develop many skills that will be useful no matter what you go on to do. Most importantly, the process of examining and writing about documents and artifacts help you develop critical thinking and communication skills. The ability to analyze and evaluate information and then convey to others your opinions. And that is invaluable. So when you are looking at a document artifact, questions to ask yourself are, who created this? When? Why? Who was the audience? What does it tell you about the time it was created? And what leads you to those conclusions? What is your evidence? In this class, you'll be asking yourself those questions, as well as doing online research to help you place the artifacts, usually photographs, in context. We will be using several different online tools to help uh, express what you have learned. These include Blackboard, ePortfolio, and Screencast-O-Matic. Don't panic if you feel a little overwhelmed hearing about all those technologies. It is a lot but they are all pretty straightforward and SBS and I can offer some technical support if you get stuck. You should purchase uh, access to the professional Screencast-O-Matic, which costs about $15 a month. Uh, this will give you more editing tools, making it easier to complete the screencasts you need to submit for this class. You should also consider getting a headphone with a microphone for recording. See the Q&A discussion board on Blackboard if you have technical issues with Screencast-O-Matic. Many of you have likely taken several online classes already, but remember it is really important to keep on top of due dates and schedule time to complete your work each week. 
You may want to consider adding times to your weekly calendar or even alarm on your phone to make sure you have time assigned to complete your work. Although I won't be meeting most of you in person, I look forward to getting to know you in this virtual environment over the next few months. Email me at katherine.culkin at bcc.cuny.edu with any questions.